What could be wrong? Oh man, come on. It's not muted. I'm gonna have to start this over. Why is it not working? Oh, it's working now? Okay, all right, cool, sweet. Whew, <laughs> I almost stopped it. I muted it and then unmuted it, so I, I don't know. Okay, point is, we're doing a live stream. I like live streams. Been jibber jabbering for a minute now. Uh, it's funny thing about live, because it tells you how long you've been on, and you know how long you've been talking. Okay, shop update. So, here's the deal. Doors are in. All right, give me a notification for my own live. That was a big thing. So we were waiting on the doors to go in to be able to finish out the permit. Now, what we're waiting for, it's so dark in here, so I had to do this early so you guys could see. Obviously, we have no power. So we're basically waiting for the permit for the electrical, which of course is a separate thing, at least in my situation. Um, so waiting on the permit for the electrical. Once we get the permit for the electrical, we can do the electrical. Past that, shop-wise, we don't really need a permit for anything else. So it's like once we get past that waiting period, and get the um, get the electrical permit, get the electrical done, get the permit approved, get that finished out entirely. We should be able to jam out on the rest. Because, but the the thing that's tough too is the electrical is the first thing that needs to happen. Like none of the other stuff that needs to happen um, is like can happen before the electrical happens, right? So we got to do the electrical, so on and so forth. Then we can spray foam it. Then we can drywall it. Then we can so on and so forth. Um, the building the loft, that's a big thing. So I want to build a loft here. So one, two, three, four to that fourth pole. So I don't know if you'll, let me turn this around. So it'd be, it'd be 20 feet off the back wall, I think. Yeah. So then you still end up with, uh, here, I can turn this around, can I? You still end up with plenty of room. Uh, so it would be that pole by the window. So you still end up with like a ton of room to the lift. So that's the idea, build a, a big loft up there, boom. But this is one of those things where <clears throat> I kind of want to do it myself. Like if I'm gonna, I, I think it would be a fun project. It'd be fun to, uh, I don't know, it'd just be a fun project, fun learning experience. So I don't know, I don't really have time. We got a lot of builds going. So I'm sure people are gonna pop in and ask, take your time with closing permits, make sure you have everything 100%. Yeah, so that's the idea, like get the electrical done, get that permit closed out, with it. don't have to come back here and then then we can do everything else so i also have should have one more permit to do a fence back here that's one more thing i'm waiting on which hopefully they don't get mad about the container who did the doors i i don't know same company that uh did the shop but this is what it looks like i know you guys haven't seen uh have the loft time to the main structure yeah i'm not sure if i'll I feel like I should do the loft before drywall, but I feel like the loft is kind of the last priority of mine because, you know, I can do the loft with stuff in here. You know, I can just jimmy some stuff around and build the loft, whereas pretty much everything else has to be done before we move back in. And that's the biggest struggle is, you know, like I don't want to move even much stuff in here. As you can see, there's really not a whole lot in here. I got my mower, the other lift, the Sephiro hood, got the truck, the 86, the vet. Um, and just some random crap, and that's about it. The pit bike, like there's not much in here because I don't wanna have to take it all back out when the time comes to do anything, right? Like electrical, it kinda could get by with some stuff, but spray foam, you're not gonna wanna have stuff in here. Drywall, probably not gonna wanna have stuff in here. And then the floors, I'm working on that too, epoxy in the floors. I really need to make that first priority. Hopefully I can get that done before the electrical. I don't know, hopefully soon, uh, but that's easy, it's simple found a place to do it that's supposed to be really good so we'll see but here we'll do a walk around the shop my arm is already getting tired we're gonna have to go in at some point i'm surprised the quality is not bad no need to take everything out again well if we did the uh if we you're playing an elevator for the loft no stairs see i want to i want to build the stairs myself and the railing like maybe do like the little you know the cable railing fancy looking stuff i don't know i think it'd be a fun project but it would be a lot to do by myself Sorry, it's just shaky. My arm is tired. Been working all day. Uh, would you ever build a classic? I mean, I, I like classics. I'd like to build something classic, but one of those things, man. I've got so many build plans. I got to I gotta refresh with my vehicle situation. Hold on. Let's do a walk around the shop. I mean, you guys have already seen this if you like the shop. But So the one thing that kills me, two things that I uh, wish I could do differently, the windows. The windows are just way too small 
for how tall the shop is. Two, the paneling going this way instead of up and down the ridges. So you have to add extra like stringers to do it the other way. I didn't know that was a thing. So one of those things I probably would have paid the extra for, but I just, I was just wanted to get a shop up. I was so concerned with just getting it up. I was just like, all right, let's go. This is it. Boom, boom. Uh, but the door back here is sweet. Uh, having to work in here, it's like you get a good breeze. So someone asked about the 86. 86 is alive and well. Uh, so it just needs some stuff. That's the thing. It sucks because it's registered. Are we back? Dude, I, maybe it connected me to the Wi-Fi. And then I said, like so we can't walk over to the shop again. Sorry. So 86 needs the rear end rebuilt. Needs. Are you guys back? Am I back? Hello? Someone, someone let me know if we're back. I keep seeing F in the chat. It cut out. Okay, we're back. The 86 diff rebuild. At a minimum, needs a diff rebuild. On top of that, uh, again, it smokes, and I think it's the valve seals, and I think it's getting so much oil in the combustion chamber that it's just like fouling out the plugs. If you try to let it idle for five, six minutes, it'll start to want to die. Whereas if you just drive it, it'll drive fine. So point is, I got to do some stuff to that before I can drive it. So I have a plan there, but we've been slammed. So that's in there. You can see that's there's a there'll be a whole nother thing. I work in the insulation business. I heard you mention spray foam. Watch out for off-gassing and search current spray foam lawsuit. Oh, good to know. Thank you, Carrie. Um, yeah, oh, I wish I could walk back over to the shop. Uh, vet, there's a thing you'll see and hopefully a couple days. Waiting on this thing and the, the, the thing, there's a thing, okay? So yeah, shop there. Thumb is doing good. Oh, my arm's getting tired. Did you not hear the vet update? Waiting on a thing. There's the thing that's happening waiting on contingent on that hopefully we can get that sorted that's the plan how long electrical permits i don't know man i hope i hope it it's sometimes it's quick sometimes it takes forever like i got my fence permit i want to say it took like less than a month um but the shop permit i mean i spent five months on it the first time when we were trying to close it in and then it took how long i, th I think it only took a couple months the second time but i'm assuming It'll be a couple months, so yeah. But honestly, I really don't mind working in the garage. It's really not bad. Aside from not having a lift, like even the lift thing, the benefit to not having the lift is you don't have to work around it. You don't have to like crawl around the lift arms if you're trying to do something. Um, and then two, though, the biggest problem is storage, right? Like I am up to my eyeballs and stuff in there <laughs> just from the you know, because we're working on the Sephiro, we're working on the truck, and we're working on the vet all at the same time. So we've got new parts coming and and back and forth, and it's just like cramming everything there. There's just not a lot of room. Okay, so moving on. I'm gonna go inside. My arm's getting tired. Uh, and explain the rest of this stuff. But you can see the Pulsar. Everyone asks about the Pulsar. It's just a daily. I haven't driven it much since I got the truck done. The truck's been my go-to daily. Um, this thing's so good as a daily. I love it. Uh, and then the the pulsar pulsar just showing i have a turbo for this thing a bigger turbo and like injectors and a fuel pump and a standalone but i don't know i just haven't been very motivated i, I really honestly want to do a giveaway on this car uh, that would be ideal i think just to, i'm just kind of you know i have my fun with it it's a cool car but i'm kind of bored of it shop is awesome man stoked when you buy an a240 sx should I, what should I be aware of? Oof, that's a that's too much to get into in a live stream. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Gotta go inside. My oh my bitches died. Do you think does anyone know? Are you gonna come back? They died. It got it got cold. It actually got below freezing here. Giveaways are cringe. Yeah, but everyone does a giveaway. I need to do a giveaway. I've been wanting to do one for a while to see how it goes. Okay, going inside the pups. Oh, Chrissy must have took them somewhere so that they didn't get in the way. I left my drink outside. Oh, where are they? Maybe they went for a walk. It's quiet. Okay, so let me put you guys over here. Are you good there? Are you comfortable? This chair. All right, I'll try and get into some of these questions. So, yeah, I would like to do a giveaway on the full start because I think it'd be cool. But other than that, I don't know. Oh, there is something. Remind me. Get through some more of this. Remind me there's something we got to get into <laughs> that some people are going to be disappointed about. There's Keegan. 
What's up? Say what's up, Keegan. Keegan, where? Don't leave. Say what's up. So this is Keegan. I can't. Yeah, that was ear removed. Long story. And then L in blue. What's up, Puppuccinos? Um, okay, so I think we will see more of Josue. Uh, he's just quiet. Josue is quiet in general. Like he just, unless if you know him, we could talk forever. But if you don't know him, he's super quiet. Uh, Subaru Bill change the resolution and it fixes the quality. Oh, okay, for other people. I, it might be fixed now that I'm inside on Wi Fi. Any trips planned this year? All right, so clutch kickers. Um, there's a big 50k shootout. Where is Sandy? She's in here somewhere. She'll probably come. She'll probably come over here. Uh, rims and tires on the street truck. Okay, yeah, we'll do that first real quick. Yes, I want to lower the green truck. Drag, drag wheels like you know, uh, NT triple five R's like street radials. Uh, and then, I mean, I'd like to paint it and stuff. That's all stuff I want to do. But it's like trying to bounce back and forth between multiple builds is so difficult. You know, like. Every two days I work on the trucks, two days I'm not working on the VET or I'm not working on the Safiro. And the idea was just get the truck running and driving, finish out the main odds and ends so I could drive it and enjoy it and then do a Safiro. But the Safiro has turned into a whole debacle because I'm changing the transmission out to a different trans setup and I need a specific pilot bushing that doesn't exist. So maybe it exists, maybe someone's done it, but I don't know of anyone who's done it. So I have to have one custom made. So that was hopefully going to take a couple days, a week, couple weeks. So now we're kind of we're kind of stuck there, and we're stuck waiting on some vet stuff. So otherwise, once we get going on the vet again, like I said, this is I'll have to explain all this later. Um, should go quick. We have most of the stuff. Figured. I have the turbo turbo housing right here for the vet. This vet turbo sitting here. Heavy turbo housing is heavy. Um, so trips. Someone asked about trips. Trips. Clutch kickers, obviously. There's a 50k shootout, Riverside. Check it out. Look it up. Riverside Drift. They're doing a couple ten thousand dollar rounds and a fifty thousand dollar round. There's a few of these, like you know, I call them big payout events, like clutch kicker style, like ten grand plus. Um, and that's super cool because it brings out good drivers. It's becoming a whole subset of like its own thing, you know, which is sick because it might get to a point where like you could do like really high level competitive drifting without ever going the fd route the comments went away that gonna be rad dude it should be sick i'm super excited it's one of those things like i want to rush it get it done but i also am like i'm i'm not gonna sacrifice quality uh, i'm gonna take my time make sure i get it done right because you know i'm building this car for me for the years to come like i'm not building it for one year and like i'll ooh, change something else like this is my end game car I don't plan. Would you ever build a cheap body? So I had multiple people have asked that, or maybe one person a bunch of times. Yeah, I want to. I want to build a cheap body. My grandma's, the car my grandma took me to school in was an '84 Monte Carlo SS, and I really wanted that car. It's still there. Like, like my cousin has it, but I feel bad hacking that up. I would love to build a cheap body. Um. So Pulsar for a chaser? Yes, but maybe depending on the chaser. What's up, DVs? I'll say hi to Kiki's again. Dude, what up, dude? He's the bestest boy. Don't leave me. Fine. He's camera shy. Okay, so yeah, where are we at? Uh, Kyle, don't don't run away. What do you think about a Datsun 510? I've got a two door. It's basically a rolling shell. Overwhelming. Not where to start. Not know where to start. Yeah, I mean, wow. Uh, yes, 510 is my my vintage bucket list car, one of them, right? Well, at least a more attainable one. I really want a Datsun 510. I'd love to build a Datsun 510. I think they are sick. Um, if you have a bare shell, you just gotta take it one project at a time. Figure out a game plan, take it one project at a time. You know, so we're just talking about this. Um, when you do the four, you should add outlets by the lift. Like in the four, it's too late now. Um, my poor girl, old girl had a seizure. Oh, that's so sad. I'm glad she's better. Yeah, he had a crazy ear infection and he had to get his ear removed. It was crazy, but he's doing great now. He's way happier. Uh, okay, are you and Colette working that together, R&D? Uh, I mean, a little bit. I sent her pictures of how I had cut my trans tunnel out like way back when she told me she was going front trans and then she got the diff in before I did. So she was giving me some info on that. So yeah, I guess kind of, it's kind of cool. It's crazy. I was talking to my girlfriend, Chrissy, about this. Like, you know, last year, 
nobody in drifting had a front trans corp head. There was not a single one. And now this year, there's like four or five people building front transmission Corvettes. So find a bronze pilot bushing. Okay, so yeah, that was kind of my plan. I, I need a wave. This is why I need a melon wave. It's on my, uh, it's it, when the shop's done, I'm getting a melon wave. I have decided because I could just make it in like five minutes. But the guys that's making it is making it to use a roller bearing. So he's like making it to where we'll be able to use a roller bearing, which would be pretty cool uh great buys love that things are starting to turn around thank you yeah once the shop's done whew, talk about a weight lifted off my shoulders like once we get through all of the the next two permits the electrical and the fence shouldn't have to have them come out for any more freaking permits and then i could just hammer it out get it done and be done with it and move back in i i, I try not to think about the end goal the end result until i'm like there like with a project I don't think about what it's going to be like really until I'm almost done. And it's the same with the shop. Like it, in my mind right now, it doesn't exist because I can't really do anything with it because there's no electrical, which is why I had to start his live stream early. So you can actually see it earlier. Um, so it's just kind of storage, right? I mean, I just started like actually storing stuff in it and locking it up before I just like left it open, didn't have anything in there. So yeah, thoughts on best sim game to use to improve in real life skills, pens, drifting, I think live for speed's better, but obviously said, of course, is good. <laughs> okay, uh, there was another uh, there was another topic. Plans on a drag build. That is that is still a game plan. I know you need a Wendy's burger. Do you work YouTube full time? Yes. Uh, why would I be back? Oh, think back working at BC Racing and realize how far. Oh, dude, it's crazy. When I left BC and went to Ben's house, I was afraid that I wouldn't, you know, be making, I wouldn't be able to make ends meet and pay rent and without, you know, having that normal job to, to have that security. And then two years later, I bought my own house. So like, that doesn't tell you that the benefit there, you know, like it paid off is I guess what I'm trying to get at being able to dedicate more time to YouTube and not trying to split my time between BC and YouTube, not nothing against BC. BC was a great job, but uh, it definitely was worth it, you know, and in hindsight, you know, I almost didn't do it. Yeah, I, I was scared. I was I was worried to take that jump. So thoughts on buying anything other than cars like boats, ski -doos. Yeah, so I side by side. I really like a side by side. That's that's, that's something I've wanted for a while. Uh, just no no real room. Thank you, James Sweeten Jr. Uh, there's no real room right now to put one. And honestly, I feel like I know myself enough to know that I'm so consumed with cars, I wouldn't find time to do it. I don't think, uh, I don't think, I don't know. I, I just, I think it would be hard. Like, I think if I got a side-by-side, -side, I'd use it for a month, and then I just, it would sit for months, you know? It's hard to do multiple different hobbies at the same time. So I'm a realist in that sense, but on the other hand, I'm like, I want to stop by side. I want a boat. I live near water. I'd like to have a boat. So um, yeah, side by sides are a waste of money. I mean, dude, I think they're sick, like blasting through dirt roads, jumping them, all that stuff. But I feel like you, uh, Atmosphere finally made a good record. That's a good one. That's how you know he listens to Atmosphere. Um, so yeah, it's far very flat. Yes, very flat. I have eight Haas CNCs in 20... Eight years experience. If you need anything, oh sweet, dude, send me an email. Taylordrifts at gmail.com. Uh, there's something else that I need, like actually machine, not just something that would be late. Um, what's up, Geeks? Geeks back. See him. You can probably see him better from here. Ever gonna try doing drift week? Yeah, I really want to do it like now. Um, but any plans to start shooting 4K? I just think it's a waste, but I could be wrong. It takes double the... My problem is I save all my footage, so which I, I don't really know that I even need to do because half the time I can't find it, and I'll just go download my own YouTube video instead because i, I got to dig through like six hard drives. You know, I have three 10 terabyte hard drives, a four, a three, and a one, and then two three terabyte hard drives on my computer. Pretty much all full. So it's a lot, you know, and you got to remember which one's which and blah, blah, blah. I don't know if it's worth saving it. Maybe I should just delete it all. But that's the main reason is storing 4K is double. I mean, all my cameras can do 4K. It's just double the storage. Uh, but so back to the Drift Week question, I, I plan to go to this one. Ah, the timing. I say the timing. It's my fault. I'm just always busy. I'm always the bills, man. The bills just consume me. 
And that's like where all my time goes. Like, I don't know if people realize, but I, I do not take days off. And that's not to toot my own horn. Like, I, you know, I sometimes I get started late in the morning and I freaking watch Netflix at night after I eat. I'm not out here working 30 hours a day, you know, but I don't I don't take days off. I don't. I can't. I mean, sometimes I can if I can get ahead on videos. But, you know, every video I put out, it usually takes like two to three to make one video. Um, because I want, uh, this is something I didn't do all the, all, all the time, but I want to make each video fulfilling. Like each video, we get a certain amount of projects done and whatever. It, it, does, it feels like you didn't just watch nothing happen, you know, but sometimes that takes three days, four days. Um, so it's, it's tough, you know, it's like trying to put out a video every other day. And if it takes three days to film it, then you're behind and like, so anyway, the point is I work every day. Um, so like, when am I going to have time to do a ride a side by side? I mean, I, unless I can film it, uh, tuck paying a visit. Oh, see, do you see Sandy? Everyone's asking for Sandy. Sandy, say what up? Do you see her? Can you, I can't tell if you can see her. Say Sands. Okay, let me flip this around. Sandy, some of you are probably new here and don't even remember Sandy Sands. Uh, how many hours do you work each day? I would say minimum 10, max 12 to 14, realistically. I miss Sandy cameos. I do too. Hi, Sandy. And Tuck. Most of you haven't really seen Tuck. He's the neediest little cat ever. Right, Tuck? Come on, Sandy. Please don't call me on your way in. Okay. So... LS Turbo street truck plans. So my plan for that is to just be a street truck. Well, and drag race at some. I and do drag and drives and that kind of stuff. I want to build a dedicated drag car. Can you make stickers, dude? Where is the? Oh, I have them right here. So Mr. Phones, the guy who did all my merch designing, he's just like cool dude. Hit me up with merch. Like, hey, I designed this. I think you'd like it. A long time ago. And anyway, he made these. Like, he literally sent them to me. Under these. So I've been meaning. I, I'll. We're gonna move the merch here soon. It's been on the agenda, but busy with other things. Oh, this is cool though. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to include a sticker in every order, but I can't say that now because I don't have the merch here, but it's a bin. So we're gonna try to move it here and try to ramp up our game. I suck at promoting my own merch. I'm, as most of you guys probably know, I just, I don't know. I'm not good at it. So I wanna try to step it up, have Raldo do it. I wanna be able to, kind of use this opportunity, you know, to grow with Raldo and Jose, like be able to, you know, I just want us all to be able to do cool stuff together. You know, like I want us all to be, I got, I finally got them into no prep after all this time. I was talking about it for like a year and they like went along and sure, sure. That sounds cool. And then finally now they're hooked and they want to build a no prep car. So I just want us all to go no prepping, take some time off. We're not going anywhere. I appreciate that. And I have gotten better about that. I used to think like, dude, if I don't post a video for like three or four days, like nobody's going to ever watch my videos again. Um, and I've gotten better about realizing that's not the case. But it's just, there's also so much to be done, you know, like I'm trying to get this vet done. I mean, uh, even having Josue come in the afternoons to help, it's still like it, there's still so much to do. Which project's your favorite? That's a good one. Uh, it's always kind of the current project, maybe probably the vet right now, just because that's going to be like. I mean, it's going to be so much wilder than any car I've ever built. Like, I mean, again, here's the freaking turbo housing. It's huge. Should make, like, probably a 1,000 horsepower on, like, 14, 15 pounds. Should be rowdy. Dog box. I've never had a dog box. Oh, quick change. Never had a quick change. Like, it should be rowdy. Do a cab overbuild. Ah, dude, I would love an old semi. I really want... If you've seen them, there's the I've seen a couple of these. It's like a cab over, and then it has like the box as like a toter, right? But like the living area, and then a lift gate and a garage in the back, all in one unit. <sighs> okay, uh, Taylor Miata would be perfect. No prep car. Ah, but you'd ha I'd have to rebuild the whole thing though. Like, and then what's the point? Is that a tick on? No, she's got it's a on Sandy's ear. She's had that forever. I don't know exactly what it is. Um, but it's it's always been there ever since she showed up at that, my house that one day. Mm, favorite Milwaukee tool. That's kind of a good one. Oof. It's a tough one. I don't know. Uh, there's so many. Electric ratchet, probably. Stubby impact. Have you thought about doing a road race build? Yeah, I would like to. Uh, the problem is people, you know, just in general, 
it's hard to film road racing in general. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to do that. There's a lot. There was a question. Somebody do a cab over and take it to the track. I just responded to that. I would love to do a cab over build. Uh, man, I lost my train of thought when we got on the Sandy topic. Uh, no cab over. <laughs> you know, the problem is I need a CDL, and then you have a CDL, and I'm like, even driving your own truck, you got to stop and do all this kind of stuff. Collab with the upgrade to 4K. I have all my cameras are 4K. This is my action camera. I think my other camera's outside. My Sony. Uh, they're all 4K. Uh, big deal. <laughs> Good name. Dude, thank you for what you do. I hope you are doing well. Everyone needs to like the video also. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you should add security cameras. I have some. Uh, I would not have security cameras. AC going in the shop. Yeah, I mentioned that on the build plans, but I didn't mention it once we got the shop up. Uh, it, it is going to have AC. Having AC in the garage, been able to like just turn it on. I mean, it's been hot here in Florida. Uh, life changing. The only thing that sucks about having AC, at least in the garage, in my experience, is like if it's hot all day and I go out there, I turn the AC on, I never open the door, right? Then I was like inside in the morning. But then I'm basically still inside. Like, I don't feel like I ever went outside. I'm the type of person. I got to be outside for some period of time every day. Gabriel, been following since the G20. That's a long time ago. I love the content. Hoping to get the vet done and attract more eyes. Yeah, the vet should be should be a game changer. I mean, for me at least. But it's also going to be a big learning experience of, you know, learning how to, uh, how to work on a car like that regularly. Uh, how long do you think the vet bill will take? Oh, I remember the thing I was going to tell you, but I'll answer that first. Ah, uh, man, I I think we can get it done in time. I do. Do you think drifting is profitable without YouTube? Not unless you're really good and you can win like every big payout event. If not, no, no. I mean, an FD. I mean, I can't even do FD. I mean, I probably could, but it's. Hold on, back to the, back to the vet question, vet timeline. I would say. I don't even want to give a timeline because, you know, if you've ever worked on cars and you know someone who's worked on cars, you know your timelines are always off. I would say I would say we can probably get it done before round one. However, I I doubt that we'll have time to thoroughly test it before round one. And if we don't thoroughly test it before round one, I'm dang sure not driving it at round one. There's I see so many people do that, last minute build a car, throw it together, take it, the first time they drift it is at a competition round. You get so little practice time at a comp. It's high stress, you're running the car gripped up, like it's just not the place to learn how to drive a new car and shake down a car. Uh, so I I will not do that. I would, I would do better in my Miata than I would in the vet having not ever driven it, which I have a backup plan. I have a nitrous kit on order for the Miata. <laughs> So we'll put nitrous on the Miata if we have to. With, that, with nitrous, you know, it'd make 600, 650 with like 125 shot. Uh, and my comp tires, that car would be really, it was fast at the Freedom Factory. It's just the gearing wasn't quite right. Like third was a little too short for the bank. Fourth was a little too long for the bank. So that was kind of a struggle. So either if I re-geared it at its power level now, it'd be decent. But, you know, just add 125 horsepower and then we're good. So I'm kind of excited for that. Either way, we're putting nitrous on it. So 600-something horsepower Miata, probably going to be pretty rowdy. Um, clutch kickers in the Sephiro. If it was at the other track, I would have. The problem with that car is, like, if you get in a door-to-door -door wreck, like, good luck finding doors. Uh, that, oh, man, you guys lost track. Oh, uh, so that's one thing about the Freedom Factory. People, you know, have mixed opinions on clutch kickers going to the Freedom Factory. I think the biggest thing that's going to make a car like the Vet be advantageous compared to a car like the Miata is the way the track is. You you know, the Miata, I could run a, maybe a similar amount of grip to a fast guy would want to run on the bank, right? But the problem is there's a lot less grip on the inside than there is on the bank. So really you need to make too much grip on the bank, deal with it, and to have enough grip on the inside. So if you have a thousand horsepower, you can do that. If you have 500 and you're just at the absolute limit period, you can't do that. So that's a struggle. Uh, okay, there was, oh, the truck. Okay, wow, this is a rabbit hole. I forgot I was gonna go down. So if you're familiar with the Fummins, so I had a little issue with the truck 
the other day. Uh, it's like a while ago now, a couple of week, month. Uh, it just did some weird shifting stuff, which it does that sometimes. It learns like a weird thing. It has linear solenoids. Um, it just like flared the shifts and then you turn it off, turn it back on. And it was immediately perfect, like just all fun. So I think it says something with the learn and the tune. Um, there was a couple check and white codes, whatever. But that got me thinking. I really I wrongly want a new truck. I really want a new truck. Like, nice new truck. I just, it would be, that is my biggest struggle on going on long trips. And, you know, the Fummins is easy to work on. It's 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 great, and I built it. But, that, I mean, that's the problem. Like, I built it. So I think of every little thing that could go wrong. I know it well mechanically. Um, so, yeah, 2022, like, it, it would be a Ford for sure. The new Ford diesels are so good. The problem is, it's like, okay, you know, even if I could justify the 75 to 80 grand for a fully loaded, you're not fully loaded, not a platinum, but like you can get most of the options in a non-platinum for around there, MSRP, according to Ford's website. The problem is it's a seven month build time. That's why people are selling these used trucks for more than new trucks, which is absurd. So if anyone knows of a dealership that has uh, like, you know, optioned out ones, cause like I'm gonna buy a brand new truck. I want it to have, you know, the trailer cameras and the 360. I mean, the newest thing I own is the VET, ironically enough, which, it, you know, it doesn't really count because it's just a race car. Um, I would get a, I'd probably get an F350. I, I don't want like the low gearing of the 450 and the stiffer ride. Like I don't ever plan to tow like a super, super big trailer, but this is all hypothetical. Okay. I don't know that I get rid of the Fummins, but if I were to get rid of the Fummins, you see, I say giveaway a lot, and I have never followed through. I mean, I did once with the vet. We did a giveaway on the vet. But since then, I've talked about giving away so many cars, and I just never end up doing giveaways. Uh, but I thought about a Fummins giveaway. Uh, that would be that'd probably be pretty cool. I mean, someone get a truck, maybe do the Fummins and the open trailer if someone gets a tow rig. But then at the same token, it's like, you know, who? not that many people need a truck and trailer uh 2022 350 business expense well that's the thing i'm i'm starting to athens ford has some low mile 21 lariats that are in the low 80 carriers they're still crazy though like if i buy a new truck it's gotta it's gotta have a warranty like i'm not financing a truck that doesn't have a warranty I'm buying a truck in general bigford ford in washington no big deal opposite side of the country yeah i know ford's supposed to be cracking down on them like Selling over MSRP, but I mean, it's like, you know, what can they do? What can you do? The lead time is seven months. Yeah, bad time to buy a new truck. I agree completely. Trust me. Uh, the Fummins is fine. It's it's fine. I mean, I might, if I if I want to, I'll I'll, ch I'll maybe refresh the trans or something. Uh, this person's asked about an EcoTech a bunch of times. I thought I thought about swapping one of the Miata when I was looking at a bunch of different swap options, but I haven't really looked into them since then. Um, would the Fummins be a good horse hauler? Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's basically a, a third gen Dodge just in a Ford body and the trans is better. I mean, that's the whole point. Uh, and that's the tough thing, you know, cause like I built the Fummins for a reason. It's modern enough to be comfortable, but simple enough to where I can work on it myself. But I'm just getting to this point where I want to travel more and there's all these events popping up. And like the one thing holding me back is like, Oh, that's a long drive. Like, what if we break down? Which I've seen people break down in brand new trucks too. So, like, ah, where are your glasses from? The Zenny Optical. I'm sorry, I bought my glasses. They're cheap. Uh, so, yeah, I need new ones. I did a bunch of plasma cutting in these and grinding, and they're all pretty, pretty effed. I got a few F250 Platinum now. Colorado Springs. Send me an email. I'm thinking about this. But, okay, so if if I were to do a giveaway on the Fummins, who would be interested in a giveaway on the phone. Some people like trucks, right? I just, it's kind of F450, better turning radius. I did learn that. I, that would be pretty nice because the turning radius on, on the phone sucks. It is terrible. With an open trailer, if you get past this much angle with my open, it won't come back. Full lock, turn the other way, it'll just go in a circle. Uh, it's really annoying. Cummins will get you further something. Keep the Fummins further, faster. Dude, the thing is, the, <laughs> the engine in my truck, it's got enough power. Don't get me wrong. But it literally makes like half of what a new F-350 or F-450 would make. Like, 
the idea that I could cruise control at 80 and like it would just make these long trips much better. Um, so I don't know. It's a thought. I, well, I, I've never financed a vehicle in my life ever, not once. So the idea of financing a vehicle is, uh, yeah, jump in and give away for the tow rig, do a giveaway on the Miata. I thought about that. But then everyone told me no. <laughs> like they told me I couldn't give it away, so people probably wouldn't enter just because they wouldn't want it to go somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I I, I kind of want to keep the Miata. <sighs> I just hate having cars I don't use. Uh, but you know maybe I'll still use it. Financing is the devil. I agree. That's why I, unless I can get like crazy interest rate, like none. Um, they just they just say I drop five hundred on merch for the truck giveaway. All right, so maybe this is something we can do. 100% you are not allowed to give away the Miata. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I My girlfriend told me I couldn't do it either. She's like, no, you cannot get rid of the Miata. Um, and I I mean, I agree. I just, worst case, find a place for it. Uh, I mean, paying cash for the truck, sure, maybe. Uh, like, especially if I did it after a giveaway, maybe. But at the same time, like, paying that much money just up front, like, even if you have it, that's just a lot of money to spend in just one shot. Which is why I would want to finance it, you know. Even if we sold a bunch of merch and whoa, okay, let's do it. It's still that's a lot. Uh, I'd probably just try to put a good down payment on it. Maybe I could get. I've never, I've never even tried to finance any a truck, so I, I don't know what the rates are. We have ten platinums here in Vegas. We did you say gave or have? Yeah, I might have to go out to Vegas. Ten platinum F three fifty here in Vegas. Uh, this is your conscience speaking. Take the girl and go on a nice vacation. Something. Still plans to do Drift Week. Yeah, I'd like to do this one with the Miata. It's coming up next month. Downfalls, two things. One, don't get the bed done in time. Two, I probably need to take the Miata around one. So if I break it on the trip, then I have an unfinished vet for sure and the broken Miata, <laughs> and I can't compete in round one. But also, it's like, you know, which is more important – uh, you know, I've been a lot of energy in doing clutch kickers. I'm building a whole freaking car to go to clutch kickers and, you know, be more competitive and whatever. So it's hard to sacrifice clutch kickers to, for Drift Week. But also Drift Week was my idea originally. So it's like I haven't even gone to the thing that I, you know, essentially came up with. Not that it's a unique thought. I literally just watched a Roadkill episode where they did Drag Week. And I was like, ah, I never knew what this was. I thought it was like a week where they just drag raced at a track, like a drag festival, or I guess, and, you know, at the same track. And I see their video, and it's like these dudes with crazy drag cars, you know, going, driving on the street and fixing, you know, changing a head in a parking lot. I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. But at the time, I wasn't into drag racing. So I was like, I wonder if we could do this with drifting. And I talked to Aaron about it. We all sat down. It was like me, Adam. Harris and a bunch of the Texas kids, we all sat like in a hotel lobby and tried to come up with a way to do it. And the biggest problem was tires. Um, but then Aaron figured it out. Like two years later, he called me and was like, hey, like, I'm doing this thing called Drift Week. Like, I don't know where I came up with that. I'm like, Aaron, that was our, we all talked about this. He was like, oh, true. <laughs> so anyway, I feel like I should go because it was something that I wanted to do. But I just, I'm a slacker. Do you still, still speak to Alberto? Yeah, he calls me from time to time. But don't skip round ones from Clutch Kicker. See, I'm not, I can't do it. I just meant like if the car broke before a round, that would be. See, I told Aaron not to put it on uh, Clutch Kickers. And I mean, I guess he, he obliged, but still not great timing. Um, are you still thinking of drag car build? Yes, drag car is still on the cards. And now I got Raldo and Josue hooked on building the no prep car. So we're good to go. <laughs> If I can get my friends in on it too, and we can both build no prep cars, like, uh, do you still speak to Fed? So I'm a terrible person, and I swear people call me at the worst times, but that could be me making excuses for never answering the phone. But occasionally Fed calls me. Occasionally my buddy Crosby calls me. Marco called me a couple times. I answered one time. Did I even answer? And I'm like, I'll call him back. And then I'm just my mind. It's gone. I don't remember. I don't call him back. So it's not because I don't want to talk to them. I'm just a talker, as you can tell. We've been going 40 minutes. I'm a talker. So if I get on the phone with a friend who's a talker, I sh the house could be on fire, and I'd end up talking to them for an hour, you know? And that's the problem. Like, I don't have time. Like, I don't have time to answer this phone right now and talk for an hour. Like, I'm in the middle of drilling out these plates so I can weld them to this and do that, like, you know, stuff. 
Uh, so I feel bad. I, I need to get better at that. Same with messages. Like people will message me, people I know. I'll look at it and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to respond to that in a little bit. Like, I don't know why I think I need time to figure out what I'm going to, like, it's, it could be something simple. And then it just gets buried and I don't reply. And I look like a guy who just thinks he's too cool to reply to anybody, but it's not it. I just don't like being on my phone. You know, it's like, it sucks you in. And I mean, we all are guilty of it, but I try not to, like, if I just messaged five of my friends back and forth, you know, it's like, I, I would just never put the phone down. Like there's a group chat with a bunch of drift people. And anytime someone will tag me in there, like about something, I'll, I'll pop in there. And like, if I try to pay attention to what's going on, I'm literally just sitting there staring at my phone constantly. Like who has time for that? Talk underwater with a mouthful of what? Please don't give the shoot car away. Cute car away. It just works. No, I'm not. I, I can't give the Miata away. But Pulsar and phones. I, not both at the same time. I don't know how the giveaway is going to do. It could do terrible. So it'd be great to do the Pulsar first because if it does do terrible, then go. Cool. Like, whatever. Uh, not as big of a deal. Uh, will you go to no prep street events on a legit track? So I like to think I would go street racing. And I want to tell myself that I'm cool enough that I would go street racing. And I hope that's true. <laughs> but also, I might be like, oh, I can't do it. Like, what if the cops come? What if I get arrested? I mean, I used to go street drifting in warehouse parking lots. And now I don't do that, you know. Uh, would you ever move from Florida? So I wanted to move out west, especially the Pacific Northwest, for a long time. But as I get older, I, I like um, I like Florida. I really do like Florida. It's It's... The worst thing is the heat and the humidity and the flatness. It's not the most scenic place. I don't care for the beach. Like the beach in California or Oregon, it's cool. I would go there. But like the beach here, it's just boring. Uh, so there's definitely not – there's some not great things. But overall, we kind of do whatever you want year-round. we got a lot of stuff going on all the time. Can't really complain. Take the street truck on drag week. Yeah, I'd like to um, – I'd like to take it to one of those sick week – any of those uh, beer money to break in the new shop. Dylan Weeby. Thank you, sir. Uh, I don't really drink, but I will buy a lot of Dr. Pepper with that $20. So thank you. Uh, moving out to Orlando here soon. Yeah, I'd say overall it's uh, it's decent here. Live in Oregon for 30 years. Beautiful. Move to Texas. Need sun. Yeah, that's, you know, everywhere has their pitfalls. Like it doesn't matter where you move, but there's something bad about it. You know, like Oregon, it's beautiful, and everything's green and whatever, And but then there's, it rains a lot. And that would, I used to think that wouldn't bother me, but dude, we get like three, four days in a row where it's just overcast here, and I'm I'm depressed. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, Dr. Pepper. I mean, I would prefer Pib, but can't get Pib. Uh, okay. Pulsar is SR20 front wheel drive. No, it's SR20 all-wheel drive it's turbo all-wheel drive pib extra yeah so if anyone would be interested in the pulsar giveaway maybe i'll do that like i said the plan is to bring the merch here so that way raldo and Jose can handle it work with it um and hopefully you know we can all kind of grow this thing together which would be cool um like i said so we can i just want us all to be able to build no prep builds so ideally bring the merch here get better about it you know like i'm bad about I try to do everything myself. And my thing is always like, I have time. If I take, you know, the hour in the morning where I chill and drink my coffee or the couple hours a night where I eat dinner and watch Netflix, if I take that time, like I have enough time. I could ship the shirts out myself and I could do all the figuring out. And in reality, I realize it's not that I don't, it's not that I don't have time. I just don't have the mental space to keep up with that many things. Like just trying to keep up with every individual build, like, Okay, I need this part for the Sephiro. I want to work on that in two days once we get that part. If that part comes in, oh, man, but I need a clutch line. Like, oh, if I don't get the clutch line, then we can't put the, you know, we can't put the throttle bearing in, then we can't put the trans on. And then, oh, the vet, I still need to order the wiring bulkheads and the wiring. And then just it's hard enough to keep up with all of that. Someone commented it. But, like, ordering parts for a car and figuring that stuff out, figuring out, like, what works together, it is literally – like its own, it is a huge part of the build that I think people don't see. You know, like ordering lines and fittings, it took me two weeks, of, you know, in my off time working on it to figure out what all lines and fittings I would need. 
and get them all ordered. And I'm sure I will get some of them wrong and I'll have to order other ones, you know, like that's just part of it. But that stuff takes a lot of time. So that's why we're in good shape with the vet. We have the lines and fittings ordered. Really, the only thing I don't physically have part wise is uh, the wiring stuff, which I have the wiring. I have the electronics and I have some of the wiring, but I need to order more physical wire and connectors and things like that. Uh, so, I mean, I think we can get it done pretty quick, but I don't know. We're about to hammer back down on it, but I just got this. There's a thing hanging in the air we got to decide on. So uh, having a cute meal that slides is just as good as the S13. Your build series has been great. We'll have all the technical stuff. Thank you. How much does the turbo kit cost on a truck? Turbo is 500 bucks. Waste kit's 100 bucks. Ball valves like 100 bucks. And then the material. Oh, and the turbo manifold, it's like 500 bucks. It's probably like 2,500 bucks with me building it, building the, the rest of it. But there's a Huron Speed. They make a nice turbo kit for the trucks. Uh, I have a coffee company I would like to see about sponsoring your channel. Uh, did you email Taylor Drifts at Gmail? Because if so, I didn't I didn't see it. It might go to spam. That, that email, I need, I need another email. It's difficult, you know, just because there's spam mixed in. And sometimes I won't see like an actual email because it'll be mixed in. You still live in St. Cloud? No. I did one in St. Cloud at one point. Favorites and no prep. Oh, uh, man, that's a tough one. Uh, definitely like uh, Kindle. Um, I, I like that. You know, I'm not a fan of nitrous, but the nitrous car thing always gets down. Um, who else? Why am I drawing a blank here? I mean, obviously, the Street Racing Channel. Uh, but there's someone else that does really well. I mean, Peter Bond, Casey Max. I, I don't know why those dudes don't do more of the real back of the track stuff, the crappy surface, big payout stuff. Maybe because it's different tire size. Uh, everything you will grow to the size of LZ. I'd love to see you grow to some more size as him. Uh, probably not. That's just because, like, for my own willingness, I don't know that I'd ever really want to get to that extreme. Um, like, that dude works all the time. He is on all the time like i don't know how he died like i said i was just complaining about me keeping up with my stuff i mean the amount of stuff he has to keep straight in his head and like keep up with and probably have meetings on and do like I, i'm good with where i'm at i'm good with where i'm at really my goal right now is to grow the merch so that like that can be its own full job for raldo and josue to do on top of their own business um, and just so we can all, like, I don't really care to make any more money. Um, I just want to be able to make more money that they can get. And then we can all do cool stuff together. Not that I'm rich by any means. I just, I have what I need. I have a house. I'm building my shop. And, you know, it's not crazy. It's not a 10,000 square foot shop. It's not a mansion, but it's, it's good enough, you know? And as long as I can afford to go drifting, I'm happy, you know, and work on cars, you know, that's, that's really all I want to do. Just tinker with cars you know it's, it's weird i've become more of a wrencher than a driver sometimes i say that as soon as i go drifting i'll be like this is way better than working on cars but i i enjoy it i used to i used to hate it um none of his builds get finished you know uh, i was like who are you talking about me dude <laughs> my all cars are all done go to uh look into project management software probably a good idea racing sim drift comp was inspired by your videos, still having a blast, VR upgrade, 1,500 hours. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. I almost clicked something. Okay. Turbo John. Yeah, Turbo John, of course. I was trying to think of the heavy hitters. Uh, Yeah, I, I should honestly try to do the sim competitions. That's a really smart thing. My sims, right? I have parts for my sim. Still there. People ask on the video all the time, does that thing still work? It still works. Have you talked to any drag race personalities about the bill? Jack Stan, Jimmy, no time, guys. I have a little bit, but I'm just not there yet. I'm going to try to buy someone's used no prep car and just get my feet wet and go from there. Uh, two stroke drift car bill. That would be pretty crazy. Uh, when are you doing a bar swap? I, you know, I'm not that into the eclectic builds. People, one thing I think people don't realize is like, you know, the bars are super popular in Australia, and they do really well with them. But there's a reason for that. They came there. That's the reason LSs are popular here. And, you know, it's like people want to see something different and try this obscure thing. But, like, generally, like a S50 B32, which is, like, 
you know, the the three liter BMW motor with ITBs that came in the E36 M3 overseas, like cool motor. People, you know, some people would import that, but the reason it's the reason this stuff's popular, like the the V8 BMW engines over in Europe and stuff, is because that's what they have. Like they have cars with those engines, they have parts for that. You know, that's why the LS is such a big deal. And a lot of people think that stuff's hype. They're like, oh, it's the hype train, like the K series. Oh, it's the everyone's jumping on the bandwagon. Well, no, normally if you look, it kind of coincides with something. Like people started doing a bunch of K swaps and S chassis when Toge Factory made a super nice kit and made it easy to do. Before that, there wasn't a kit. Um, and it's like once the parts, because same with vets, right? When I had my vet years ago, n there was no angle kit. Like we made some hodgepodge thing that kind of didn't work well. There was no angle kits. Everyone thought I was crazy. No one had any interest in a drift car vet. But as soon as angle kits came out and that product support and dual caliper brackets, what do you see in drifting? A million Corvettes, millions of Corvettes, because they're great. They work great. But you know, until the product is supported, you just don't see it becoming that popular. And then when it does become popular, nine times out of 10, it's not because someone's trying to do what's cool. It's just, it's popular because it's logical. Vets are popular because they're logical. These are popular because they're logical. Like they're a car, you know, that was the Aaron mentality that me and Adam kind of adopted and learned like, uh, you know, like the closer to stock you can keep a car, the more reliable it's going to be. I know that seems counterintuitive to people like us to build cars, you know, I'm out here building this crazy car that's nowhere near stock. Uh, but it really is true. Like stock stuff was meant to just go and go miles, you know? So like when you start modifying it, you're taking a part that was engineered by the factory, spent millions of dollars on R&D and replacing with a part that like some guy in his garage built. Not saying anything bad about that, but you know, that guy didn't do thousands of hours of testing and all this stuff. So keep, keep stuff stock. So that's why the vets and the season are popular because they make enough power to drift stock. They handle well, so on and so forth. Uh, will you go to any U.S. Air events this year? Me and Ben have talked about it. He said he's going with or without me. I'd probably, probably bring the Miata just because Ben would bring his Miata and he would want us to tan in the Miatas. Well, I really want to bring the Sephiro to a track like that just because it'd be cool. And that's like the style up there, even though the Sephiro is ugly for those guys. Pulsar giveaway would be something I'd go broke for. I need to do that, so we're going to work on that. I miss Ben, too. Ben's a good friend. Uh, would you ever consider a mini truck drift film? I thought about it. Uh, there's a lot of things that I want to do, but my main my main plans right now, if I get this part, finish up the Sephiro. I mean, I'm almost running out of time, really. My goal was to get it running and driving again so I can just start enjoying it because it was a week and a half away from being running and driving again get it running and driving again, then go just full head down in the vet build, like not come up for air for until it's done. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get, I'd like to get the engine and trans and stuff at least put in the Sephiro. So if I have a day where like I'm held up on the vet because I'm waiting for a part, I can work on that, you know, finish up some odds and ends. It's just, it's so close. Like it does not need much. If I weren't doing this trans stuff, the, the car would be running and driving right now. But since I'm doing the trans stuff and the ad stuff and makes it uh makes it complicated. Love being along for the journey. Could be along the way. Cheers from Canada. Thanks, Steve. Uh yeah, so are you and L yep, yeah, LZ still close. Yeah. I mean we just I moved away. I moved an hour and a half, two hours away, really. So I didn't really see anyone from Orlando unless I was at events. And now I'm just kind of a hermit. I just pretty much work on cars all day at my house. And then I go, I go out when there's events and that's when I see everybody. Uh, so yeah, we're still friends. We see each other at events just like everybody else. Uh, I just don't, I, I just don't do, uh, don't do much back in the track. Oh yeah. The uh, beater bomb that wouldn't want him use the butt hurt bar. I wasn't sure if that was why, but what about KC Max? I guess he started doing them. Okay. That answers my question. If you plan on painting the truck, what color? I am the worst person to pick colors ever. I'm like one of those people where I'm like, if I'm doing it, I can pick any color. So therefore, I want to pick something crazy because I get to do it. But then at the same time, I know I'm going to get sick of it. So, I mean, my instinct is to just paint every car black. Why haven't you pursued sponsors to help out with the bills? I feel like it would be. So I do get some, some parts sponsored from people. Like Holly is a huge company that has helped me a lot on, on parts sponsorship. Um, you know, BC Detroit is another one, you know, Holly Detroit's and Mishimoto. Those, those guys have all helped me 
and NBC, of course, have all helped me so much. Like, they are awesome, like, always down to help. So huge shout out to them, honestly. If you have a chance, give them a follow. Tell them thank you, because, dude, without them, it wouldn't be, it definitely wouldn't be possible. So, I mean, the amount of stuff on the, the vet, I mean, it's not on there yet, but from Holly is just insane. They make so, they're more than just an ECU. Like, they have so many companies under their umbrella, and they make so many parts um so yeah i will i be at ls fest again yes absolutely i mean i will make it out there one way or the other i gotta bring the old 480 out of the green truck up there to the guy who built it he's like oh you can just bring the core back at ls fest so i gotta go whether i'll have the vet or the miata will remains to be seen uh chicken hawk has been a terror no prep yeah i noticed that he did he struggled for a long time it's an rx7 if you don't know no prep you got two weights on the back but i mean i watched it you know i watched a lot of them and this dude struggled and i was like man for whatever reason imports never work well at no prep you just never see an import going around at no prep like I, there's got to be a reason and then this rx7 it's an fc out of nowhere a dude just starts winning everything on the really crappy surfaces like dudes are blowing the tires off on the starting line and this guy's pulling the front wheels like how that's what's so interesting to me about no prep, like just trying to figure it out, trying to understand like what makes something like what what can you do? You know, I like that challenge of trying to be faster or be better, but not with just blowing more money, like with figuring something out and learning. That's fun to me. Uh, so I'm like Chevy on nitrous. I did see I watch I watch a lot of street racing stuff. It's pretty much all I watch. I watch Midwest street cars. Big Chief channel. I really like his channel because he's – that dude is smart, man. I can tell you that dude – I mean, I don't know what he's talking about, so I, I can't confirm that he knows what he's talking about, but he knows what he's talking about. Like, I learn something every time I watch that. You can tell he's he's really intelligent with cars, and it's interesting to see him, you know, that he has that mentality of, like, instead of, like, oh, I'm just going to go spend more money on a crazier engine if I'm not keeping up. Like, he's going to figure out a way to make his engine make more power, his chassis – work better and and all that stuff so i really i enjoy watching that i wish they would post videos more my dad is big in the no prep scene and all the guys are super cool yeah no it seems it seems kind of like it really seems like drifting but in the drag racing world um are you excited for the corvette yeah absolutely turbo right here it's too heavy i'm gonna stop lifting that up here i'll show you the actual turbo i'm probably gonna get off here soon it's been an hour i always think it's gonna take forever there's a turbo I got this from Adams specifically. I bought it from Drift HQ. Um, yeah, big old Garrett. I was afraid it wouldn't be big enough, but um, da, 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 um, Brandon McDowell did a smaller turbo on a 408, and it said it's perfect. Almost a little small. So this is bigger, and a 427 should be good. Please do subtle merch for those who don't want – to wear big prints i need to do that what what about like i was thinking like a maybe the logo maybe i don't know some some something just embroidered i think that'd be really cool like a shirt with just embroidery um yeah i need to get better about the merch need to make stickers and all that stuff everyone starts leaving when i say i'm gonna leave and then i talk for like another hour someone's sending me <laughs> some car they have for sale that's a drag car uh mike barry i love your attention to detail keep up the great work I'd love to see you work in person someday. I've learned a lot from you over the years. That's really cool to hear because there's like people that I learn from, you know, and I never imagined myself as someone that someone's learning from, you know, because I'm still always learning. But that's that's it's crazy, man. This whole thing is crazy. I just lucked into YouTube, you know. Uh, will you offer sign merch? Absolutely. Yeah, no, I would do that if anyone asked. Um, I think I've done it a few times. Some people have asked. Uh, all right, let's get let's get the questions in. What do we got? Fox body drift car. Uh, that'd be cool. They're just getting so expensive. I should have bought one there when they were cheap. Any merch like my car mods? Any updates on the C6? This is the tough thing about live streams because like people pop in and they miss like everything that already happened. Uh, C6. Uh, there's a thing I can't tell you about it, but we're waiting on this. There's a thing you should know more soon, one way or the other. Um, do you ever watch Project Binky? I did. If you haven't watched that. If you're into the nitty gritty details and nerdy little watch project binky i need to get caught up um i need to get caught up on that um are you sponsored by milwaukee no uh they've uh, they, I, I used to get like samples from them sometimes like if it was a new tool but i haven't in a while 
Patreon's still the best place to support you, yes. So, I mean, Patreon knows what's up with the vet right now. <laughs> so, I know I don't promote it much because I, I feel bad. Sometimes I won't post on there for, like, weeks because I just, I mean, I won't even post on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. But when I do, they get the juicy details, and it's cool. I, I like it. It's nice to have when it's, like, something that's happening that I'm just, I don't want to make a video on yet because I'm, like, waiting on something to confirm or whatever. I can tell them, and it's cool. So, I really like Patreon. For that reason, uh, just the Lego of the garage built would be awesome. Oh, logo of garage built, like GB maybe? Doesn't have to be big or a lot. Yeah, thanks for that. I, I need to do that. I've thought about that. Um, yep, Patreon knows. Shh, don't tell them. Uh, any thoughts on how to fix the severe electric steering? I'm actually working on a fix for that. So excess power batteries, I bought their, like this small one that actually turns out not even a starting battery. And it rips like it was that that battery was amazing in the Sephiro. I put it in the Pulsar, which was just killing this red top Optima over and over again. Put it in the Pulsar. Car starts right up every time. Sits for like two months, starts right up. Uh, so big fan of excess power batteries now. So I got like a small battery from them and a capacitor. So the capacitor handles the big burst charges, you know, like right when you steer in and it wants a lot of voltage, it handles that. And then, you know, your normal battery takes over, it refills capacitor right so i've got that a capacitor and i'm going to put a higher amp alternator and i'm curious to see if that fixes it or if it's still an issue if it is then it's the volvo pump um i gotta figure out what i'm doing on the vet that's the big question mark hold on i gotta read this don Carr, uh been a sub for years You're the person who inspired me and my passion in cars wow that's cool just sold my subi to buy a duramax now i'm looking for e36 or it's e33 good choice dude good choice drifting having fun having a car you can beat around it's the best. There's the, cars are pointless, in my opinion, if you don't use them. Don't get me wrong. I've had a Ferrari F40. I have a hard time driving it just because I know it's so irreplaceable. But uh, cars are meant to be driven. Um, start putting designs on the back. I know. I should have done that. I, I, I'm the design on the back person, but I just – I didn't – I don't know. Seemed like a – seemed like the way to do it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I lost my train of thought what we were talking about. Come to kill care. That sounds far. Oh, Toyota do electric column in the Yaris. The electric column sucks. I tried it in the Miata. Terrible, terrible. Worst thing ever. Horrible. The car wouldn't self-steer. Uh, I literally went from almost not qualifying at Clutch Kickers the very first round, took it off that night, just took the motor out of the column, went to manual steering, which the car was not set up for, and uh, made it to the finals. It went one more time in the finals. Like People are like, oh, I'm making excuses. I'm like, dude, I literally took the electric motor out and went from barely winking the track to the finals. Like, obviously it wasn't working. Do you know your PC specs from your editing rig? I think there are some similarities between computers and cars. I love both. Uh, so I, I, I warned enough about PCs just to be able to get what I needed, but I'm not that knowledgeable on it. Also would like a Rat Fink logo dad hat. See, I was thinking about like Rat Fink logo embroidered dad hat. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, so computers, I forget, it's like 32 gigs of RAM, i7, something or another, 11 gig video card, uh, two, three terabyte hard drives in a solid state. But I got to change my solid state because I have 500 gig solid state and it's just not enough. And it's always full and then I'm like deleting, like I can't keep anything downloaded. I have to move it to the other drives. It's a mess. I have a two terabyte one. I just, I haven't been willing to take the computer down to swap it. But uh, da -da. okay, we're going to wrap up here. I got everyone's comment, right? I think so. Opinions on second-gen Lexus IS. I think they're pretty cool. I thought about building one a long time ago, like in a... Uh, no, I don't have an F40 Ferrari. I'm saying if I had an F40 Ferrari or some car like that, you know, maybe then I would have an excuse to not drive it. But I, I for me, I don't want to own a car if I don't drive it. Like, it's a car. It's meant to be driven. Any plans to visit the LVZ compound? I was going to go with the Sephiro and try to tan him before he painted his car or whatever, but then I blew it up, so it didn't work out. Uh, if you like bad obsession motorsports, look up Retro Power. They do the most gorgeous builds. I'll have to look that up. Build a stance car? No. I mean, I tried to make the Sephiro a stance car sacrifice, you know, function for form, and I'm just, no, I'm a function guy. Did you explain why no naturally aspirated on the vet? Oh, yeah, 40 drift build 2024. You, dude, if I ever become rich, we'll do it. Um, 
how do you program engine maps? You need a spec out PC to do it? No, you don't need a spec out PC to tune. Um, man, I lost the question. What was the question? Can someone let me know? Oh, I lost it. All right. Well, I guess that's a good way to, to end this off. Go kart is still a thing. Yeah. Same with the back axle, bump in axle uh, on my porch. Um, yeah. So I got to fix that. That's how I know that, like, getting a side by side. I really want to get a boat because some sort of boat, but I really want a jet boat like Cletus and stuff like that. But that to me seems like the most fun boat. That's what I want in a boat, but it's like, they're really expensive to buy one that someone already built and it's a lot of work to build it. So I don't know. Maybe we'll get into that sometime. Uh, who would you be interested in? I have Postway helping now. Uh, no prep car still in the future. So this is a tough thing. I'm just going to start repeating myself. Yes. No prep car after that's done. Some sort of no prep car will be here. Now, honestly, if I can give away the Pulsar, make room, I, I get a no prep car now. So if you guys want to see the Pulsar giveaway, let me know. Don't leave a comment or something. So, you know, I can make it happen and we can get a no prep car. I just, I need to get rid of some stuff before I buy more stuff. I can't do it. What's the best way to learn to fabricate? Just do it. Um, I watched a ton of videos on how to weld before I got my TIG welder. And none of, it was all out the window, you know? I mean, maybe start watching them once you've tried a little bit. You know, watch the very basics, try, and then watch the more detailed ones. I thought I could just watch them all, and then i just hop. No, it didn't work out that way. Um, and fabrication in general, it's just time learning. Uh, barbecue catering. <laughs> I know, SSBBQ, SDSBBQ. Been here forever. I just want to say thanks. Love what you do. Uh, know all about how hard YouTube can be. If you ever want some barbecue advice, I know a guy. Oh, man, I keep clicking this wrong thing. He has been around for – I remember getting stickers from him back in the Darwin House day. No prep Civic with the Boosted Boys. I had thought about, like, a no prep, like, Starlet with a K-Series. Like, from what – my limited knowledge of just watching YouTube videos of no prep, like, you want to kill Torque off the line on the back end of the track stuff, the real bad surface stuff. So I feel like a K-Series would be perfect. But at the same time, maybe you need to – you know, rub the K-Series so high to get it to spool that you could never turn it down enough to launch it. I don't know. It could work really well or it could not. It's hard to say. Assetto Corsa, I need to play more. I just don't like it. It's it's amazing. It's such a cool game. The graphics, the cars, the tracks. But the tandem just sucks. Like, and like when you're a car with behind someone, it's great. But when you get to that, like, trying to get like a foot away or like, graze the door, it just doesn't feel real. Whereas live for speed feels real, like all the way up. Like I learned all of the being able to finesse the door tap from live for speed, but it feels weird on the motion rig because it's so dated. Okay. Uh, this guy has asked this question a bunch. I got a cam to LS3 Camaro and did not change the lifters, but it's a bit, you don't need to change the lifters. No, it's, that'd be a, that'd be the updated lifters. So you're fine. You don't need to change those, especially 70,000 miles. K-Series, the Pulsar, I thought about that. K-Series, Evo Trans. I don't want to go down the rabbit hole with that car. Pulsar giveaway, wrap the merch, sell tons of merch, and buy a no prep. All right, I'm in. That's what we're going to end on. Pulsar giveaway. Maybe Fumman's giveaway. If you know where someone's selling trucks, new trucks, where the dealer that has new trucks with good options for not a gajillion dollars, uh suspension stuff is huge for drag cars yeah that's what i figured that's what i want to learn um yeah if you know of any let me know send me an email send me a comment uh otherwise thank you guys for watching uh shop permit if you're new here we said then that we, we went over this in the beginning of the shop permit waiting on a permit electrical then we can do everything else so basically just waiting once we get that we're gonna hammer it out okay F450 Platinum. F450, F350. What made you choose the 5.9 Cummins versus a 6.7? The 6.7s, you have to swap the body control module, the tip them. And I had issues with the tip them in my Dodge because it's basically a circuit board with no real relays. And I didn't want to have to swap that in. So that's why I went with the 5.9. Okay. Goodbye, guys. I'll do this again soon. I promise. How do I already forgot how to end it. No, I just press X. Yeah. Okay. All right. Goodbye for all this time. Goodbye.